Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a long, long overdue video on my empties. I have been hoarding them in this tote forever and I also have a garbage bag with me because we're ready to clean this space up and start over. So let's get into it without further blabbering. I am obviously beyond obsessed with the Neutrogena makeup wipes. I go through them by the freaking boatloads. Clearly, I know makeup wipes aren't like the most environmentally friendly thing, but they're so great at taking off my makeup. And I just use one every night to just kind of get that layer of makeup off my face. So I like to buy these at Costco because my Costco carries them in like a three pack or something which helps me save a little money. This is my favorite makeup wipe. I've tried the other shades too by Neutrogena and the blue one is the best. And then I also do like the e.l.f. wipes. These ones are actually a little bit more pricey than the Neutrogena ones when you compare like how many you get versus like the amount of times you use them, etc., etc. You guys already know I love the Sephora foot masks. I haven't actually used one in a while so I'm excited. I also tried the Garnier uh, Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. Not a huge fan of those. Again, so many foot masks I've been hanging on to. Um, more Neutrogena. And then apparently I really like these cotton rounds from Target. So I kept the packaging to show you guys. And again, I have another one of these elf things. So let me go ahead and toss those in my trash bag. More Neutrogena <laughs> wipes. And, oh, I also tried this Sephora mask. I kind of hoard these. I don't know why. I buy the holiday sets and then I'm like, ooh, I mustn't use them all up at once. So the other night I put this on. This is the Avocado Nourishing and Repairing Mask. They have so many versions of this now. So I think it's really great that Sephora Collection is doing different things for like, there's like detox ones, brightening ones, radiance ones. So it's really cool that you can just walk into your Sephora and pick that up. <coughs> This I feel like my husband maybe used up, but this is the Dr. Teal's Body Wash in Detoxifying and Energizing Ginger and Clay. Um, yeah, I don't know, we share body washes, so that was one I think he picked out. Finally made it through my Scandinavia. As you guys can tell, this was in my project pan. So happy to be done with this. I remember a time on YouTube where this was like the rage, like everyone was recommending Scandinavia makeup sp setting spray. Oh, this is actually the post makeup recovery spray. I do have the setting spray as well. This is the finishing spray, I should say. And then there's a bridal one too. You can pick these up in like a set so you save a little bit of money. But nobody talks about these anymore and <laughs> I'm sure glad I'm done with them because I personally did not see any kind of improvement in the longevity of my makeup using those. I made it through another one of my toners from the body shop. This is the pomegranate invigorating toner with pomegranate clarifies, hydrates, and refreshes for softer looking skin. This is one of my steps in my skincare process. I use a toner in the morning and at nighttime too. And so I like to pick mine up from the body shop because they're so affordable. They constantly have promos going on. And so I always pick up different kinds. And this one was okay. I mean, it's crazy to see how much stuff comes off your face in the morning and even at night once you've actually washed your face. Like I wash my face with the Clarisonic and those toners still find more junk on my face, which I think is insane. Finished up this Brazilian Four Play Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. This is from the brand Sol de Janeiro. I actually picked this up in a set, I think maybe in one of the sales. And it smells amazing. My husband loves how this smells. He was actually slowly, sneakily using this to clean himself. And I'm like, do you know how much the body wash costs? And then once I told him, I was like, you can start paying for some of it. And he's like, uh, no. So yeah, I finally finished it up and I won't be repurchasing because mama doesn't need to be paying that kind of money for body wash. But I was, uh, it was, it was really nice. It smells so good. Here is the Herbivore Jade Roller. So I told this story in my September haul video, but this is the new one. They revamped it and they were actually allowing their customers to request one. So if you had ordered one within a certain time frame, they were sending you replacements because so many people were complaining about this one. Rightfully so, because these were like 30 bucks and like, do you hear how squeaky this is? And 
This one feels so junky compared to this one, which is the new one. So I'm so grateful that they replaced it for me and therefore I'm gonna go ahead and toss this because I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Okay, the next thing I used up is this guy. This is the Pat McGrath Black Dual Ended Marker. So this is like her original marker pen, like eyeliner. And I paid way too much for this. I don't like it. It's dual ended, so one side's really thick and weird, and then there's a skinny side, and I swear, this is not very good eyeliner. If you ask me, I think her new pen is so much better. The quality is just better, so I'm trashing that. And then this guy is the Velour Lash Adhesive in black, and honestly, it's not very good. And I've been using the Huda Lash Glue, and I love it. So that's kind of my go-to lash glue, and I'm going to be decluttering more lash glues I think in here so happy I finished this up oh my gosh I've had this perfume forever I think like one of my old boyfriends gave this to me it was a Valentine's gift when I was like in college and it took me forever to finish this up but if you're ever looking for a really nice fragrance romance by Ralph Lauren is affordable and it smells so good I might have to repurchase this someday it's a good one and it's a perfect Valentine's gift too so if any boys out there are watching this, you might want to pick this up for your girlfriend because it's actually really cute. Okay, these wipes suck. There are actually some still in here. They're so bad that I'm not even able to use these for makeup swatches, but this is like a post-workout, like, cleansing body wipe, so it's probably not even really meant for removing, like, makeup swatches, but I just didn't like it, and I don't care to keep it. I bought it because it's green, and I love green stuff, so... Yeah, it was kind of a waste of money. <laughs> Next we have some uh, mascaras. So I've got the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I actually really like this one. It's a pretty good mascara. I also really like the packaging. And then we have the Maybelline The Falsies. This one was okay. Not a huge fan. I was on like a let's try all the mascaras kick. And yeah, I tried quite a few, but I wasn't a fan of that. I love the ABH Brow Gel. Took me forever to part with this, so I'm finally like, okay, Karen, time to pull out a new one. So I'm trashing that. And then this is a sample of the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. Didn't think anything of that specifically. Finished up a Beauty Blender Solid. I love using those to clean my makeup brushes and sponges. And then I just have like these little sample things that I try to use up. These are two face cleansers by First Aid Beauty. I probably picked it up in like a sample run from them. More mascaras. Let's see here. I love this guy. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Express. The ColourPop Brow Gel um, is okay. I wouldn't say you should place like an order just to get this, but it's six bucks. So it's super affordable. Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara is pretty nice. It's $10. I did not like this Kevin Aquan Expert Mascara. It was very clumpy and gross, so happy to get all of that out of my collection. I am going to declutter this Mario Badescu uh, Drying Lotion. It's okay. I prefer putting the Super Mud Mask from Glam Glow on my face when I have a zit or anything I want to get rid of, but here's what that looks like. This is my favorite top coat of all time. Really helps things last on my nails. This is the old packaging, um, but I really like this. If you're good, looking for a really good top coat, this is the Essie Gel Nail Polish Top Coat, and you can use this with regular nail polish, as far as I'm concerned, and I really like it. Here is my <laughs> Clarisonic Brush Head. This is the one I've been had used for almost a year. I don't know, I know you're supposed to declutter these pretty often, but this lasted pretty well, and I was like, okay, Karen, You've almost had your Clarisonic for a year. It's about time to get rid of it. I'm actually really enjoying using my Clarisonic. I think it's a great way to take off my foundation and kind of keep my skin in good shape. So if you've been contemplating investing in one, I would totally recommend it. I did not like this lip balm at all. This is Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. I know some people really like this, but I honestly think it's pretty gross. And it's like this jumbo size thing. It smells amazing, but... As far as like keeping my lips plump and happy in the winter time, I didn't feel like this did anything for me. Okay, more things. So I try so hard to like this mascara, but I don't. This is the Too Faced 
better than sex mascara. This is like one of those where it's like a cult favorite mascara and I do not get it. Like I just don't understand. The packaging is beautiful but the wand is so thick. I just like always get it all over the place when I'm trying to put it on. So I am just going to go ahead and declutter this. I also got a little sample of this guy. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This used to be in like a pot and they repackaged it. So I was curious to try it out. It's overly sticky and I just thought it was junk. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss that because I don't feel the need to use up samples. This is the Duo uh, Do Not, uh, this is the Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. This is the one that dries clear. It's okay. It's not the best lash glue. It kind of gets messy. It doesn't really always dry clear. It kind of dries like this white shade so it's kind of annoying. And therefore, again, like I said, love the Huda Glue, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And then the Perversion Mascara, I had always loved this as a sample, but the full size sucks. Again, this brush just gets everywhere. I think my biggest problem is that I have deep set eyes, and so a lot of these big brushes just kind of like, it's so hard for me to like get in there without making a mess, so... Yeah, I won't ever be buying more Perversion Mascaras. And then I have this guy by L'Oreal. This is the Voluminous Superstar X Fiber Waterproof thingy. It is like a primer and then one side is a mascara. So there's a step one and a step two. Wasn't really overly interested in this, but I know I have a few friends that will swear by this. I really wanted to try this white liquid liner. It wasn't that great, honestly. I'm so picky about my felt tip liners. And so was not a fan of this. So I am going to go ahead and toss that. We got more. We got more. Um, this is my Ardency in Black Eyeliner Pencil. I actually really like this. This used to be like a go-to for Jaclyn Hill. She used to swear up and down for this black eye pencil. I recently got hooked on the Pat McGrath eye pencil. So I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this. This is a free MAC False Lash Mascara. Again, lovely packaging. Didn't think this was anything spectacular, but I do try to use them up and, you know, get rid of them. This used to be my favorite black felt liner from the drugstore. This is the Voluminous Superstar Liquid Eyeliner. I really like this. It lasts really well, and it's really easy to do a wing with this. So, yeah, I really like it. It's a good drugstore product. Here is a ColourPop concealer I actually used up. I'm so proud of myself. I actually really like this formula. I know some people, it's like hit or miss for them, but it's worked really well for me and it's so affordable. Like, I do not want to complain about this concealer. Okay, this mascara, oh my gosh, it's so bad. It's so bad. The wand is crazy and it like pokes your eye out. So, so happy to be getting rid of this Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I picked this up in like some holiday set and it's not good. Oh my gosh, it's not good. The uh, YSL Tint Adol something. This is like a lip oil. What is this called? Volup Tint and Oil. And if you guys have been watching YouTube for as long as I have, you remember how much this was like a hyped product back in the day. I don't even, like, I didn't even need this. I just bought it because everyone was talking about what a great formula this is blah 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 and this is just like the worst thing to store every time you lay it on its side it leaks everywhere it's a piece of crap product and i'm just i'm like it, i finally came to the point where i was like i get that it's ysl karen but you cannot justify just holding on to this because you're never going to use it so for that reason it is going in the trash thank you very much here's a little monsieur big mascara sample i love this mascara so i did pick it up in the full size I don't like this mascara either. Oh my gosh. I used to remember liking this and then I picked it up in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty a while ago and then I tried it and I'm like, I don't like it. So I regret purchasing that, but trying to use things up. I like the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I've had a full size of this previously and again, I'm just trying to use up sample sizes of things as well. So really do like that. I put this in here because I had used up almost all of it and this packaging is such a pain in the butt because it's a pump and I feel like this is kind of just getting old and it's not something I reach for because it's not very convenient. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC35. I actually really liked this concealer. It was very long wearing. 
and full coverage, but I have other stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. Here's something I'm so proud of. I got through a Juno Oil by Sunday Riley. This is my favorite moisturizer for the winter time, especially it works so well with my skin and my foundation. And I'm so happy I found this product because it's so cold where I live in the winter time. This thing is a lifesaver and I would recommend it for anyone living in a cold climate because it really soaks in. It says it's a obsession worthy radiance, anti-aging, antioxidant rich superfood oil and I just love this. This is my favorite Sunday Riley oil and it's so nice at hydrating my skin. Okay, here's more stuff. So this NYX, oh my god, Epic Ink Liner. This thing sucked. Like, I broke this wand in like a day because it got caught in the lid. I hate brush tip applicators because they always get caught in the lid and I'm like, screw it. So I need to toss that. I really like the formula of this Hourglass Mascara. The only thing is, because it's a sample, the wand was so short, I was poking myself in the eye with it. I would love to try out the full size, but the Caution Mascara is kind of spendy, and I prefer to just buy drugstore, so I'm going to go ahead and just toss that because it's old, and I won't be picking up a full size anytime soon unless it goes on like super sale. This one was okay. This is the Essence Volume Stylist 18 hour lash extension mascara. I mean, I don't think it did all of those things that it says it's gonna do, but Essence is pretty freaking affordable, so I wanted to try it out. It's not something I would run out and repurchase, but I tried it. This Tarte Shape Tape I've had for so long, and I'm honestly like one of the few, few people that is not a fan of Shape Tape, and so this is the only one I ever bought. I'm almost down to like here, and it's in my project pan and I'm like, I'm done. Like, I don't need this. I bought new concealer, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and I'm so happy to not have to keep using this because I don't like it. Here's some more random things that I wanna get rid of. I was not a huge fan of this kale and spinach green tea hyaluronic acid by Youth of the People. I do love their face wash. Oh my gosh, this thing lasted me forever. This is what I use for morning time when I cleanse my face. And I got through a whole bottle and I didn't want to repurchase this because it's kind of spendy. And I actually missed having this in my collection. So I purchased it and I'm so happy because it honestly helped my skin so, so much. So I love this. Not a huge fan of the hy hyaluronic acid from them. Okay, the other thing I decided to call it quits on is this Bodyography Brow powder that I've had forever. This is so good, but I decided to go with the ABH stuff and it was like breaking and cracking and so I'm gonna go ahead and toss that and then I did not like this. This is the Herbivore lip balm that I bought on sale on their website and it's gross. Like it's so like thick and like I can't get any like balm out of this damn jar <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? Life is too short to use crappy lip balm, so it's getting tossed. Okay, more things in here. I did hit pan on this MAC paint pot. Okay, I didn't really hit pan, but it's kind of like old and gunky and I've had it forever. And so I've moved on to other eye primers. I actually really love, I must say, I don't know if I've mentioned this enough times, but a subscriber recommended this NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer and it's so good, you guys. Definitely check this out if you are looking for an eyeshadow primer and it is like $7. So thank you so much for recommending this to me because it's amazing. The other thing I'm tossing is this Pink Cloud by Herbivore. This is a little sample. Not very good. I don't know. I have better moisturizers, so I'm tossing that. And then I got through two little Fix Plus. I got through a small one and a big one. I love Fix Plus. It's probably one of my favorite setting sprays, so... Happy to be getting through those. This is my favorite micellar water. Oh my gosh. I love the simple micellar water. This time I actually bought two bottles. I have one down here on my vanity and then I have one upstairs in my master bathroom because I love this stuff so much. And yeah, I would totally recommend it. You know, it's so funny. I found them at Walmart and the lady's like, is that stuff good? Because you're buying two bottles. And I'm like, yeah, it's good. Like this instead of like a makeup wipe would take off all my makeup. The only thing is I have to use co like multiple cotton rounds, but that's the cotton round, not the micellar water's fault because it's so good at taking off my makeup and it doesn't like sting or anything. So I would totally recommend if you guys are in the market 
for a micellar water and it's under $10. Okay, I really liked this. This is the Clarisonic Refreshing Gel Cleanser. This was another thing that came with my Clarisonic. And I held on to it and I held on to it. And I'm like, Karen, just try and use up some of your samples because I, like, I don't know. I stopped requesting samples because I have way too many. This one was really good though. I would totally buy this in the full size, but I have so many other cleansers that I won't be doing that. And then the last two items, this guy is the Drunk Elephant Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I remember when this launched, everyone was talking about this, and I honestly haven't had this for very long, so I'm so confused because I pump it and nothing comes out, and the thing with Drunk Elephant, and I know people have talked about this, is that you can't tell when you run out of a product. This is like a $60 to $70 eye cream, which I think is really fucking ridiculous that I can't tell. And I know a lot of people love Drunk Elephant, but I have not fallen for the hype. I've tried the eye cream, I've tried a bunch of their stuff, I bought a little set from them. I don't know, it's just like, I'm like, mm, it's not like blowing my mind and that's okay because everyone has different skin types and things. So everyone experiences things a little bit differently, but yeah, that's my gripe with this. I couldn't tell any like magical difference using this and also now I can't tell if it's just over, or if the pump is broken, which I think is a huge flaw in skincare packaging. I think it needs to be clear or there needs to be some way you can tell where you are on this, you know, product so you don't waste. And last but certainly not least is this guy. I don't know why it's covered in fur. It might be because my cat just like jumped in here, but this is the Fresh Rose Hydrating Facial Toner. It took me forever to get through this and look how gross those rose petals look now. Um, but I've seen a lot of, you know, influencers receive like amazing PR packages from Fresh. This is a nice toner, but it's not like anything you need to run out and get. I know a lot of people really hype this product up and I think I saw Jeffree Star talk about this, which is why I originally bought it. But I've seen a lot of other smaller influencers talk about this too. And I would honestly say as somebody that buys all of the things I talk about on my channel, I would say save your money and just get yourself a Body Chef toner and you'll be fine. You don't need this and it's kind of gross. <laughs> okay guys, that is it for my empties video. I don't do this as often as other channels do. It takes me forever to get through products. I swear, like, I don't hit pan on eyeshadow. I'm just like, do I not use enough eyeshadow? Like, I feel like so many people hit pan on eyeshadow. I'm like, wait, why, why don't I ever hit pan on eyeshadow? So. Yeah, these are my 99 problems, but I hope you enjoyed this empties video. I felt like a lot of the products I talked about were very interesting. I try to keep it quick and easy and let you guys know my thoughts really quick. So if you have any other questions, if you have any questions on the products I showed but I didn't mention something specific you were curious about, just leave me a comment down there and I will get back to you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you soon. Bye!